much better. <laughs> Folks, tonight's first guest, she plays Lisette, the wise, cracking, street smart, Bronx born dynamo in the year's most raucous movie. I like it like that. Here's a quick look. Okay. How do I look? What? Well, you've got back, baby, and your face is beat down, but you're missing something. Alexis, I'm gonna lend you my ass and you're so lucky much. that I'm your sister, okay? I owe you. I don't get happy and be quick about it, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to walk, right? I know how to walk. You don't know how to walk, girl. Just watch. Bop. Pose. Boom. Pose. Mm. Feel it. Uh. And swing. Work and pivot. Bop. Yes, that's it. Work it, girl. Feel it. Yes, you better go, Latin Cindy Crawford, like that. I could be a model. No, you are a model. I am so a model. So you know Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lauren Velez. <laughs> I have seen this movie. It is a tremendous movie. Yeah, you liked it? I liked it very much. You, you were wonderful in it. But that, this, what struck me when I first met you is in the movie, you, they have you very flat-chested. But then when I meet, and, you're, and it's not, exactly. It's, well, all right. You're, you're very much not, and I thought, I'm not. Mm -hmm. movie magic. That's, uh, <laughs> was it special effects, or how did they? No, uh, it wasn't. It was special uh, tape, actually. They just put. Um, like a tube top around me and a lot of tape. And they kept going around and around and around and around until I had no tetas. Tetas. <laughs> you know, that almost makes it feel like a kid's word, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's go out and play with some tetas. <laughs> Potatoes. Um, did they, did, how long was the movie shoot? 40 days. Wow. Yeah, and I thought I was going to need surgery after that. It was, it, you were afraid they weren't going to bounce back. I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was. No, that seems, that seems like a difficult thing to go yeah, through. Yeah, no, but they're okay. <laughs> um, let's, you know, let's move on. Let's go. <laughs> I've decided we'll move on. It's, it's a very lovely movie. What I, what I like so much about it is the portrayal of the street scenes mm -hmm. is, is so real but so engaging, yeah. you know, and, and your role especially. Yeah, it's a, great, uh, it's a great role. I mean, there's not a lot of great roles for women in television, period. And for, you know, this is a great role for a woman. And yeah. she's Latina, which was great because there aren't a lot of those roles either. So now, this was also, it was the director's first feature. Yeah, Jonelle Martin. So was everything very, I mean, it looked like it was a lot of fun, but was it very cut and dry in the set? You know, she was nervous, you guys were no. nervous? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't anything like that. She wasn't nervous at all. Jonelle was like great with everybody. She's like, yeah, great, I love you, I love you. You're all fabulous. And the minute somebody said that they couldn't do a shot, she was like, well, look, you have five minutes. You all knew we were going to do this shot, and uh, I'll be back when it's ready. Oh, man. That kind of thing. She was pulling like the Coppola thing. Like, <laughs> no one has a heart attack till I say they have a heart attack. But she, well, she's actually a big practical joker, and she, um, <laughs> she played a lot of jokes actually on, on set. You? Like Dick Clark jokes, like queer, like the waiter's really an actor, no. like that kind of stuff? <laughs> no, actually, um, John and I, the guy who plays Chino, um, right. we, we played a joke on her, a, li a little tiny joke. I pretended that he tried to to molest me, and I was uh, engaged to be married. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband, my I husband? Said, well, he wasn't my husband at the time, he was my fiance. Right. And so I said that he got really upset. He came in on us, and he broke off the engagement. And um, so Jonelle wanted to get back at us for playing this joke, because she, she got very upset about it. So she had John in the middle of this, um, we were in the Bronx, in the middle of a really big street scene. He comes down the block, and this police car comes up and this guy comes out and he goes, John Sather, he knocks him against the car and this girl comes out screaming, that's it, that's the guy who did it. Oh and so he's screaming, the guy like cuffs him and reads him his rights and he's like, and I'm in the back like trying, I'm acting, I'm like, oh my God, someone save him. And the director's laughing in the background and the final guy's reading him his rights and goes, you have the right to do this, you have the right to do that. You have the right to know this is a practical joke by Darnell Martin. So. Oh no. Yeah. Whatever happened to like you walk by and someone hits you with a broom <laughs> and then stops, you know, real quick. These yeah. are these are serious. These like, are advanced. Right. Let's jokes. pretend that you yeah. shoot me in the face, <laughs> and everyone will laugh. Well, that's great. We got to take a, a quick commercial break, but more with Lauren Velez right after this. So stick around. Everybody. <laughs> John 
Stewart, and I'm Lauren Velez. <laughs> <laughs> She's reading! I'm cheating. You're cheating. <laughs> you know, it'd be so nice if there was another one just like you. I know you're married now, but... Actually, there Zoinks? is. <laughs> really? Yeah, I have a twin, an identical twin. And is it is it creepy type twin? Like, when you get your breast tape, she feels <laughs> she it? Feels or, uh, <laughs> that kind of thing. Ah, that wasn't written down, was it? <laughs> We, did, we don't have special powers or anything. I mean, I can't like say, oh, I wish you were here and poof, she'll appear. Uh, but we're close, you know? <laughs> we're very close. But, but you're she, not Jeannie. You can't make it. No. Blank out and all she stuff. lives in London, actually. Oh, really? She what married is, an she, Englishman. Is she an actress? She's a singer. Oh, uh, very talented. She's doing Miss Saigon over there, and uh, now she's doing something else called Out of the Blue. How long has she liked living over there? You know what? I don't even care about her. Let's talk about you. <laughs> did you guys used to freak people out when they would come over? Like, you're kind of the joke, or you. Yeah, we did. Like, people would get freaked out. Like, they see it. Like, her boyfriend came to pick us up, pick her up. He'd never seen me before, had no idea she had a twin. And he walks in the door, and I let him in. I said, hi, how are you? And she comes up behind me, and he, like, goes, like this. Like, oh, my God. Like, I just mutated before his <laughs> eyes. It was bizarre. It always, why do people freak? It's not like that. Uh, it's not like you went, you know, come to the door, and then your head opened up, and she <laughs> popped out of the top of your head. <laughs> I know, but that's the way they, they react. And we used to, in high school, switch all the time. Like, she'd go by her math teacher's class and say, hi, hi, Mrs. Wu. And then she'd go, you ready? And I'd go, yeah, see you later. And I'd go in and take the test for her. And the, the teacher wouldn't even, like, think. I was like, hello, we're dressed differently. I mean, nothing. No one ever, and twins always take great pride in that kind of revenge. Because twins in my neighborhood were always that way. They'd right. mess with the teachers or mess with everybody. It was a terrible thing. Yeah. Was she acting with you in, in grade school? Like when you guys were growing up, did you, were you in plays together? And... Yeah, together. We did like um, pajama game together. And Very nice. Those kind of. I was in that. Were you in pajama In my high school. I was the second helper. <laughs> yeah. Do you know any songs? Do you remember anything? I never got to say anything. I was oh. the second helper. I would just show up and go, anyone need help? And they'd be like, no. <laughs> wow. yeah, I never got to do right. anything. What was the first play you ever did? The first. The first. The first play I ever did was in the second grade, and I'm still traumatized by it. Why? Because I played the groundhog. And <laughs> <laughs> I had two lines, and I had this long brown skirt and a yellow, a yellow blouse of my sister's, and the guy on stage says something like, oh, wow, I'm going to get everybody. And I go, oh, no, you won't. And he says, who's that? And I say, I'm the groundhog. And like the whole school just went like, ah, oh, ha, ha, groundhog, <laughs> groundhog. That's, I mean, it was horrible. Yeah. And <laughs> see, like that. Right. They're all thinking of funny so names they can call you now. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, groundhog. So it was. Um, this site hopefully was about Groundhog's Day, wasn't it? It was about Groundhog's Day. Oh, okay. So I vowed revenge on them, and uh, when I see them, they're all in trouble. Good. Luckily, you were never typecast. I mean, you haven't played any Groundhog role since then. <laughs> no, not yet. But uh, I think that's right. Look, possible. I'm not going to turn away work. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Hey, if it takes the Groundhog, they just tape down your tail and you move right in. And do what you got to exactly. do. But you moved up. You did. Uh, I used to see on on soap opera. I used to see on. Uh, on Ryan's. Ryan's Hope. Hope. Really? Yeah. Which I, I mean, I didn't watch it all the time. I mean, I have stuff to do during the day. Don't, gotcha. I mean. Hey. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was fun. That was short-lived. It was for about six months. Yeah. And I played Anita Saragossa. Right. And uh, I was pregnant, and I had, I was getting married, and it was weird. What happened to you? Because I remember thinking, hey, what happened to what Anita happened? Saragossa? Nothing. Nobody cared. They sort of just, like, we went to Las Vegas and never came back. You're probably still out there. <laughs> You're a cocktail waitress out in Las Vegas. Well, things are certainly picking up huge from there. This, this movie is great. And I hear you're working with Pacino in the next movie. Thanks so that's, Hall, yeah. man, congratulations. I Thank think that's you. wonderful. You're really great in the movie. Thanks, Please go see it. Lauren Velez, the movie is I Like It Like That. Coming up, a live performance from Charles Crow.